Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when controller is not working with Black Ops 7 game on your Windows computer. Now, the first step is to enable or disable Steam input and then restart the game. So if you have the game on Steam, go to Steam, make a right click on the game and then select properties. Go to controller tab and then over here, first of all, try disable Steam input. So disable the Steam input, launch the game and then check if that does not work. Go to properties once again and go to controller tab and this time you can enable the Steam input and then check. Check which one is working fine for you. Try both enable and disable. Make sure that you restart the game after this. Next step is to battle.net users. Add the game to Steam and then launch the game from Steam. Now for this, go to Steam, click on add a game and then click on add a non-Steam game and then click on browse and then go to the game installation folder so if the game is installed in c drive open open c drive and open program files x86 and find the game where the game is installed so here i think game is installed over here call of duty and then retail and COD 25 and then COD 25. I think this is the exe file. So select the game exe file and then click on open. And once the game is added over here, now you can launch the game and then check. You can, if you're not sure about this exe file, you can try different exe file. You can add all the exe file and whichever is the black ops 7 you can find the game exe file you can select this one also you can click on add click on add selected program once the game is added over here now you can launch the game from steam and then check now the next step is to go to human in, uh, open device manager make a right click on the start menu and then go to device manager and then open, uh, expand human interface devices. Now over here, if you find uh, like key crone keyboard or maybe Razer Huntsman keyboard, uh, you can just make a right click and then disable it. This is just an example. I'm showing you a different device. Uh, you can disable it. Uh, I don't have key crone keyboard or Razer Huntsman keyboard connected. So if you have key, key crone keyboard or mouse entry over here, in human interface device you can disable it and then relaunch the game you can enable it later on once you're done playing the game disconnect external keyboard and mouse and then launch the game if you have key crown razor huntsman uh, key crown keyboard or razor huntsman keyboard connected you can disconnect it and then launch the game disconnect if you have dongle of key crown or razor huntsman if the dongle is connected to the computer you can detect uh, detect uh, sorry disconnect it disconnect any kind of dongle or usb adapter connected to the computer disconnect razor tartarus unplug flight simming hardware disconnect external devices like if you have hotas wheel pedals any kind of usb adapter connected disconnect it disconnect extra controller sometimes we have extra controller connected disconnected disconnect arcade stick disconnect multiple monitor if you have any virtual controller connected like any vjoy etc you can uninstall it you can disable it in the device manager also if you have any virtual joystick application installed on your computer you can uninstall it and then you can launch the game and then check still not working select the controller which you want to use and then you can restart the game so in windows search box you can just type in usb game controls and then click on setup usb game controls over here and then go to the advanced option so you now click on now click on advanced option over here and then you can select the controller which you want to use so whichever controller you want to use uh, you can select it click on ok and then relaunch the game and then check now still not working the next step is to playstation controller enable it in sound control panel now for this you can type in control panel in windows search box and then click on control panel and then click on hardware and sound go to sound option and then select uh, over here uh, you have to connect your controller using the usb cable use the wired connection to connect your controller so let me connect it now now once the controller is connected you will see the dual sense wireless controller make a right click and if it is disabled you can enable it and then make a right click once again click on configure speakers 
quadraphonic click on next and put a check on front left and right surround speaker make sure both are checked click on next click on finish and then once done relaunch the game and then check use wired connection so uh, you can connect your controller using the usb cable to the computer and then you can relaunch the game playstation controller user can use ds4 windows you can you can search in google you can install it configure it and then launch the game and then check next step is to update controller using playstation accessories app or xbox accessories app so if you have xbox controller you can open microsoft store in the search box you can type in xbox accessories app over here and then click on xbox accessories and then install it and then you can launch xbox accessories app and once you launch it you have to use the wired connection once again you have to connect your controller using the usb cable so make sure that you use the usb cable to connect and then once once connected it will direct your controller over here and then click on more options click on these three dots and then you will see update option update click on continue and let the update complete once the update is complete you can launch the game and then you can check similarly if you have playstation controller then you can use playstation accessories app so you can search in google playstation accessories app and then you can go to the official playstation website and you can download for windows run the exe file and once the down uh, once you run it install it on your computer and then launch playstation accessories app in my case it is already installed so launch playstation accessories app and then connect your controller once the controller is connected it will direct your controller now over here uh, in my case it's already up to date but if you see update option uh, click on update update your controller and then you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to launch steam in big picture mode now for this you can go to steam uh, at the top right here you can see the big picture mode icon so click on enter big picture mode icon now once the steam is in big picture mode now you can select the game you can launch the game from here and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the controller working with the game so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel